you've painted the entire country. But, Every citizen of this that, country. That's what I'm saying. That's black. what I'm saying. Because that includes when you. you make, yeah, listen, listen to me. When, when you make everybody poor, and then the few that when you make the, the generality of the country poor, the rest of the, 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 the over 98 percent people poor, then they, they feel that how the money do everything they can to remain there so as to keep on denying the rest of the people. So when I become the president of this country, to, I'm going to take away the resources of, 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 of the people and give it back to them. I'm going to decentralize, I'm going to uh, restructure Nigeria in, uh, in such a way that, uh, I mean, which my, my restructuring will be based on uh, fiscal restructuring, taking away the resources that are controlled by the federal government and give them to the federal units, that is the, to the state, so that the states, the people, will mind their own resources, take care of them, their people, so that there will, there will be no poverty. Only small, a, a certain percentage is agreed by the nation that will be sent to the federal government. But the rest of, if you have oil in your state, you, you mine your oil, you take care of your people, give certain percentage to the federal government. If you have gold, you, whatever you are producing, agriculture, whatever you are producing, you, uh, you take care of it, you exploit it, and give a certain percentage to the federal government. Well, well General, so in, you... in doing that, uh, you are taking the resources from the people, the wealth, since, from since... the federal government, and giving it to the... To, 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 All right, let, let, since you painted uh, everybody with one brush, at, at, at the, since you're saying Brasmus. that everybody is dishonest, and that includes you, why should the people then trust you to do what you said you're going to do if everybody is dishonest, including you, as you say? I'm not dishonest. Uh, uh, when, I say, uh, uh, when I say everybody, I mean uh, the majority of the people. There are, few there are few honest people in this country. But the way we have been doing things, do or die, and sharing the cake, even those that don't have it have been frustrated. Everybody has been frustrated. And that's why I'm coming into contest, so that I will take things that are um, uh, being controlled by less than 2% of the Nigerian population and hand over to Nigeria to, to the Nigerian people and make sure that it could, uh, the, the Nigeria's wealth goes down. The youth, we have over 20 million uh, graduate youth who are unemployed. I'm, I'm, uh, I will make sure that the youth are employed. Uh, immediately I come in, I'm going to set up uh, uh, an agency of, uh, for, for youth in the presidency and make sure the first 12 months I make sure that our under uh, over eight, 20 million un unemployed youth uh, 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 have been taken care of, have been empowered, one way or the other. It is uh, very sad that Nigeria consistently ignore the youth. And unfortunately, the politicians are making use of these youth because of their helpless condition. Okay, uh, uh, let, let's, let's talk about let's, for them. Let's, let's talk about the elections because on Monday something very significant is going to happen. INEC is going to come out with the final guidelines that will... I mean, get everybody through the process uh, for what you, to, you should do and what not to do on election day. Now, that document already has been fraught with controversies just here and there. Political parties, for instance, are saying that uh, this is a grand mechanism to rig the elections in 2019. But what are your own views, since you're running for president, for your party, APGA? Does APGA view this as a document to... Uh, rig the elections in 2019? Um, I don't, I have not given serious thought because we voted in President Muhammad Buhari as I am asking fellow Nigerians to vote for me now. And if President Muhammad Buhari is planning to rig, it's unfortunate. Uh, it's, it's not the right thing to do. He should not do that. But uh, in a way, we don't like it. If they are going to rig, we don't like it. We in Abga, we don't like it. We want fair, uh, free and fair election for all of us. And I believe that President Muhammad, Muhammad Buhari will do the right thing and uh, not frustrate the, the rest of the, the, the country because he, we... 
we voted for him. When I become president, I'm going to allow free and fair election for all. Look at, uh, the INEC also reminded us of the 2010 Electoral Act as amended. They specifically uh, cited Section 29, Sub 3 of that Electoral Act, which uh, says notwithstanding the provisions of any other law and for purposes of securing the vote, the Commission shall be responsible for requesting for the deployment of relevant security personnel necessary for elections or registration of voters and shall assign them in the manner determined by the Commission in consultation with the relevant security agencies. Now, with respect to those who you say were buying up permanent voter cards from people, how you expect to conduct themselves on the day of elections, what would you like to see INEC do now concerning election security on the day? Well, Nigerian government subs, uh, uh, have been uh, deploying the, po the police to conduct, to help for the security of, uh, of elections. But unfortunately, the police are sometimes used to, to help the, power in, the, the, the party in power to rig election. And this is unfortunate. Uh, I, would, I would want the IG to instruct his policemen and women who are deployed to do just that, the, the, uh, to just provide security and allow INEC to do what they are expected to do. They are not to participate in rigging election on behalf of, of the government in power. Okay, why should Nigerians vote for you given the array of candidates that there are? Thank you very much. Um, I want to be president of this country because Nigeria is at, at crossroads. There's a lot of insecurity. Nigerians are being killed all over the country. There's a lot of hunger. Despite the lot of uh, wealth of the Federation, we are the capital poverty of Nigeria, or the entire world, and uh, this, uh, despite the fact that President Muhammad Buhari said he was coming in to, uh, to stop corruption, there's more corruption in the country than it has ever been before, even worse than what was in, uh, uh, in PDP. Uh, over 20 million uh, graduates, Nigerian university graduates, are unemployed. I want to come in and solve that problem. Our women are being ignored systematically. I want to, ignore, uh, want to uh, uh, organize women all over the country in cooperative societies and uh, empower them through microfinance banks and other financial institutions. Uh, in, uh, in the next eight years or ten years, no country in the world will be producing uh, uh, vehicles, trans, uh, land vehicles that uh, use uh, fuel. All vehicles will be, um, will be powered by electrification. And the oil price will, look, will go down drastically. And we are now sub, uh, depending on oil to run our, uh, our budget, I mean to balance our budget. So I am going to work to prepare Nigeria for post-oil uh, economy which we will no longer depend on, uh, will no longer depend on oil wealth. The way I view things and the way I'm going to do it, our next economic boom will be the, the youth. I'm going to handle the Nigerian youth who are being ignored by President Muhammad Buhari, calling them uh, idle youth. I'm going to convert Nigerian youth into the next economic boom. I'm going to empower them, they'll be trained, I'm going to set up uh, four technology uh, villages, one in the east, one in the, no uh, one in the west, one in the middle belt, one in the far north, and I will bring experts from all over the country, all over the world, to induce technological development in this country. We'll all right, then, we, we, we need to anchor at that point. Next, 
I'm afraid we're, we're really out of time on this one. Retired Major General John Ball, presidential candidate of the All Progressives Grand Alliance. Thank you for talking to us today, and we wish you all the best. So there you have it. That's the program of the show today. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on Monday this time. I'm Chamberlain. I'm Gimba Umar. I'm Nao Taibbi. Bye-bye.